Hello everyone and welcome back to Lucky Dose 15 where I'll be giving you my each way Lucky 15 predictions for tomorrow's horse racing as usual here on the channel. Just want to apologise for not making a vlog the last couple of days. If you follow us on Twitter which is at Lucky Loaders 15 you might have noticed yesterday I was able to put up a couple of selections which I thought would run well at Newbury because I was at uh, Ladies Day yesterday for Newbury and we had quite a good day there. The ones that I tipped, both of them won and yeah they were the favourites, it wasn't original. We had Nathan in the first race in the 120 at Newbury and then in the 225 I said my nap for the day was uh, Defoe and for a moment I was sweating a little bit there because there was a stewards inquiry and when I was down in the betting ring, it seemed to take an eternity for uh, the result to be cleared up and um, put through. But luckily, DeVoe was declared the winner. And even though, yeah, it was 6-4, to four, favourite again, I thought he was a banker all day long. And um, it was a nice performance there. And he's already being backed for the St. Ledger, which will be run at Donny next um, month. So he'll... Could be an interesting contender there, Defoe, but I think he might have his work cut out against the likes maybe of Stradivarius, but it could be very exciting when we get nearer the time when we reanalyse and think what could run well in the St. Ledger. So um, he's definitely one to bear in mind. But yeah, away from that, um, I've been busy as well, so unfortunately haven't been able to make vlogs. Just going to put it up now um, in over the next... Uh, few uh, days I'll be doing a couple of vlogs but then from about Wednesday onwards we're going to be drying up on the vlogs for about a week because I'm um, going up uh, north on holiday I'm going to Liverpool it's not the most adventurous holiday but my cousin is getting married in Liverpool and um, I'm not going to be able to uh, get much chance to film but however if you do follow me on um, Twitter at LuckyLoads15 what I'm going to do is because it's York in the week, I'm going to write down my selections for each race at York uh, for the Ebor Festival, and I'll be uploading those. So it'll be um, each uh, race we'll be looking at, and I'll write down a selection what I think will do well to win or each way. And you can take a look, and if you fancy any of those selections and you want to do them, you can go ahead and do them. But unfortunately, I won't be able to explain why I actually chose those. Um, horses so yeah that'll be slightly disappointing but we'll be back the week after next if you can bear with me and uh, we'll be back to the old usual stuff here on lucky loads 15 so there won't be any load of look in the week but i've got um a couple of issues lined up for when we do resume and also some other issues could arise that might be worth uh, discussing so um that'll be interesting to keep that series going so yeah so it's going to be a bit of a busy time in my personal life coming up but I'll still be keeping an eye on the horses, so um, don't uh, lose faith in us. We will be back, and hopefully we can um, get back to uh, producing some winners uh, for tomorrow's horse racing action. So if you're brand new to the channel, I created this channel back in uh, March now it was, just to gain some experience because in September I'm going uh, back to university to study a master's degree in sports broadcast and journalism and I just created the channel, you know, just to gain some confidence in uploading, creating videos every day about the sport I love the most, which is horse racing. I never really had a go at tipping before, but I just thought I'd do it, see how I get on. And we've done okay, we've had our good days, we've had our bad days, but we're no worse really than a lot of the professional people making a living out there so we're still keeping on doing it and at the end of the day like I said many times before it's a bit of fun I do however want to one day maybe in the next few months or so when I'm on my course and I can get confidence and more accreditability at going out and about I would like to, uh, to show you the behind the scenes of horse racing getting out there to some local trainers things like that maybe even going to the race courses and being able to interview some jockeys and trainers, that would be really cool to do. So I need your support to achieve that. So please subscribe and like our videos if you haven't done so already. So um, anyway, enough of um, the introduction there. We're going to be looking at tomorrow's horse racing. And actually, it's not the worst day you've ever seen for uh, uh, your average day in the week's horse racing. A few decent races uh, all around tomorrow. And we've picked out a few that we think might run well tomorrow. So our uh, first selection tomorrow sees us go to Thursk in the 315 and the horse that we've gone for here is a horse called Destroyer trained uh, by Tom uh, Tate and James Sullivan who's normally uh, riding for Roof Car uh, will be uh, taking the ride tomorrow. I thought this horse was quite interesting. It's 7-1 to one with bookmakers at the moment. Last time out it ran in a class 3 event at Pontefract where it probably just found it a little bit too good that day. 
and not a bad fourth to be fair but he was probably up against it that day but prior to that he had been running well he'd been making the frame a lot of his races he'd also won two starts ago at Pontefract so he's arrives here in good form tomorrow he's back down in class and I think that could definitely help it there's a few quite a few weak uh, horses in this race and I thought he was very hard to discount and I thought at a price seven to one that was quite a fair price you could argue that he's top weight tomorrow but he's been racing off similar weights before where he's been running well and I thought he could um, definitely favour more conditions in his favour tomorrow. So that's going to be our first selection there. I know it's a bit of a wild out there one, but I thought Destroyer definitely had a chance of making the frame tomorrow in that race on the 15 uh, f first. So um, that's uh, our first selection done. We then go on to our second selection, which sees us go to Lingfield. And this is going to be our nap for tomorrow. If you're familiar with... Um, this channel you know that I tend to do a nap and a long shot for each one of these vlogs and this is my nap tomorrow in the four o'clock I know it's not very original but the horse that we're going for here is Harbour currently evens with bookmakers at the moment but it'd be interesting to see how the market reacts overnight now we get nearer the time this horse is by Frankel it's a Phillies race tomorrow and there are a couple of uh, good creditable opponents tomorrow uh, the Mark Johnston horse I can't remember the name of it now I think it's called Peach Melba or something like that it's probably the main danger to this horse tomorrow but Harbour arrives here in absolutely great form it's going for um, a four-timer tomorrow and at the start of its career this horse maybe been a bit underestimated but he's definitely or I should say she because this is a race for uh, Phillies tomorrow has been improving two starts ago she absolutely wiped the floor with everything at Sandown winning by seven lengths it's trained by William Haggis who I have a lot of time for I think he's a great trainer William Haggis I don't think he gets enough plaudits he deserves Ryan Moore we all know about Ryan Moore his qualities what he'll bring tomorrow for this horse it will be taking the ride tomorrow he, it's evens currently at the moment and I thought that could be a banker tomorrow and I can't really see it losing the race tomorrow so that's going to be our second selection there in the four o'clock at Lingfield but let us know if you've uh, got any other fancies in that race probably like I said the Mark Johnston horse is the one that could be the danger but let us know what you think on that race there or if you just think I'm absolutely being crazy as well and just going for the favourite there and it probably won't win so just see what you say and post your comments on the comments box below about that selection so our third selection for tomorrow then sees us go to the evening uh, meeting at uh, Windsor where there's a few good decent races on there tomorrow and the third selection we go to tomorrow at Windsor is in the 650 which is quite a wide open race this is like a qualified race that horses have qualified for and uh, it's over, um, I think it's five or six furlongs tomorrow. And I thought the horse that I've selected here, it's my long shot for tomorrow. But it did qualify uh, for this race, winning at Windsor. And this horse is called Ice Age, who's trained uh, by Eve Johnson Horton. And she's got a very uh, good record at this uh, track, especially this season. She's been getting a lot of winners. And Ice Age has been running here a few times. And he's made the frame in a lot of those starts. He's currently 9-1 to one with bookmakers at the moment. Ed would greater X uh, conditional jockey takes the ride tomorrow but he, I don't think he's too far from rounding out his claim now he's uh, able to use three pounds here tomorrow and I thought that was definitely a good aid for this horse and I thought I had a good chance of making the frame here tomorrow there's quite a few uh, horses that could potentially win the race and I thought this was one of the my age and I thought that his course and distance form especially could prove essential round here and he could race handily tomorrow and at least definitely make the frame so I thought nine to one wasn't a bad price there and it'll be interesting to see how that race develops tomorrow our uh, last selection tomorrow sees a stay at Windsor and this was nearly my nap but um I just thought that Harbour was probably more of a banker if I'm honest so that's why I napped it but I thought this horse had a great chance tomorrow, what I'm just about to tell you about in um, the 720 at Windsor. It's a horse called Beck and Cool, trained by Henry Candy, who's been uh, having a good season this season. Georgia Cox takes the ride, who actually won a big race um, the other day at um, Newbury, where I was at. It was a really good performance by Georgia. She's a conditional jockey again, and she'll be able to use her £5 claim here. I think she's definitely, probably you could argue, behind... Um, Josephine Gordon then you might say Holly Doyle is the next best 
up and coming female rider. We all know about Hayley Turner, obviously, but I'm just saying currently riders out there that are up and coming. You could argue Georgia Cox and Jane Elliott are kind of in that next wave, if you will, or you might want to argue that they're better than Holly Doyle because arguably Josephine is the best female rider around at the moment. But it'd be uh, interesting to see uh, what you guys think about that one. That's probably going to be a debate we will look at on the load of look about female jockeys, where the current state of them, and also about the female allowance as well, um, what I think about that and what you guys think about that as well. But that's another vlog that will be uploaded. But like I said, I think George Cox is a very good and up-and-coming jockey. This horse has been running very well to be fair to it last time out i think you could uh forgive its run it was on soft ground at lingfield which conditions don't tend to suit this horse on soft ground he should have his conditions uh up for him tomorrow the ground should be a lot drier than what it was uh, last time out he had also won at lingfield uh, a few starts ago and he'd been making the frame in most of his races finishing second third fourth so he's a very consistent horse and i thought the five pound claim tomorrow would definitely help this horse and that's why i've gone for it there in the 720 at windsor but if you uh, think I'm mad and barking up the wrong tree, or if you think I'm onto some good horses tomorrow, let us know in the comments box below. Also as well, like I say, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already, and also like the videos for more horse racing daily content. Also as well, you can follow us on Twitter, like I've said before, at LuckyLoads15 if you don't do so already. Also, you can check us out on Facebook as well. Also, gamble responsibly, don't want you uh, losing too much money from my selections, and hopefully we'll have a good day tomorrow. So thanks for your support so far, and we will be making a vlog tomorrow, I can guarantee I will, but after tomorrow it might be a bit hit and miss when I can make a vlog. So um, bear with us and hopefully we'll have a good day tomorrow.